Hi, this is my fourth video and I already got a lot of questions from you guys. So this video will be about top three questions. And those are, what kind of electric motors do I use? What is the battery capacity? And what is the rated current of an alternator? Okay, let me grab the camera and let's get down to business. These are electric motors from old wheelchair, rated at 24 volts, 15 amperes and 350 watts. They can drive this mower with ease. I made another lawnmower with my friend, uh, which motors were rated at 250 watts and they were also driving the lawnmower without any problems. These are two batteries rated at 12 volts and 9 ampere hours, connected in series to get 24 volts. I should mention that I don't have to ever charge batteries because alternator is supplying enough power to electric motors and also charging the batteries while the gasoline engine is running. And last component is alternator, rated at 24 volts and 90 amperes, which is connected with the rubber belt to gasoline engine crankshaft. I have saved the most important information for last. I was involved in one lawnmower project to figure out why the batteries uh, are discharged despite the fact that the alternator is running. So please listen to me carefully next few minutes as I explain how to design alternator properly. I will use howcarworks.com because they have nice pictures and no copyright restrictions. This is picture of car engine and we will focus on these two parts. Uh, here you can see that crankshaft pulley is bigger than alternator pulley and in car industry there is a quite common practice that for every rotation of crankshaft pulley two rotations of alternator pulley are made. Now let's put this in our use case. I've prepared three tables. First one is about a gasoline engine RPM. Second one is about the alternator RPM and the output power. And the third is about how much horsepower does it take to run an alternator. Now let's focus on first table, which information I got from one of the biggest manufacturers of small engines. We have idle, work and maximum RPM. No engine is running at maximum RPM. When you hit the full throttle, engine is running at around 3000 RPM and idle speed is around 1500 RPM. In second table, I've shown a suitable 55 ampere alternator for driving two 350 watt electric motors. You can see that when engine is running at 3000 RPM, the alternator is spinning at 6000 RPM uh, which give us 100% of available power, that is 55 amperes. Even if engine is running at idle RPM, the alternator is, is spinning at 3000 RPM and we have 80% of available power and we are always on the safe side. But please check the manufacturer specification of your alternator. And now let's see how much horsepower does it take to run an alternator at maximum ratings? The alternator gives us 1500 watts of power and when we add 40% losses, because the alternator is not a perfect device, uh, we get around 2100 watts of power. And when we convert this, we get around 3 horsepower. But because all electric devices take around two-thirds of available power, we can say that alternator loads the engine with two horsepower. So please take this into account when designing your gasoline engine. All right, that's all for today. Hope you found some useful information. Uh, I would like to say uh, hello to my friend Micha and his son Max, who are now watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in one week.
Bye.